Hi everyone, back here again for another video. This time we'll together have a look at another keyboard that honestly has impressed me and I have enjoyed using it since I got it. Here's an unboxing and a quick review of the Blitzwolf BWKB1 keyboard. And stay until the end for some tips. This is the Blitzwolf mechanical keyboard 60% in white color. If you have been here in my channel and have seen my other videos, I always was using the Logitech K380 keyboard as I really like the quiet typing. As you may see here, this Blitzwolf keyboard is the total opposite of the K380. This is a mechanical keyboard and of course, and definitely it is not quiet. I have here is the white version and keys are said to be made of ABS and from what I read, or watched, this is not the best quality unlike the PBT keys. And here, I chose the Gateron red switches. So it may be clicky, but what I heard is that it is not as loud as the brown or the blue switches. The only similarity of this with my trusty Logitech K380 is the size. I intentionally picked this 60% keyboard because I like the small size and I don't use the numerical keypad anyway. But other than that, this is very different compared to my Logitech keyboards and surprisingly, I really like it. As this is a gaming keyboard, this has million selection of RGB lights, though I don't really like using it, but I will use it here when I make these YouTube videos for you guys. The lighting I like is the style that lights up only when the keys that I press when typing lights up. Or the whitish or pastel colors are also nice too, not too flashy or loud. But of course, each of us has our own preference. So simply press function and the backslash to switch around the different RGB lightings. The main reason why I chose this Blitzwolf keyboard and not the other 60% mechanical keyboards is because of the arrow keys. Unlike other 60% keyboards, the arrow keys and question mark or slash are combined and I think you will need to use and press the function keys to switch around. I don't like this because I use these keys a lot. Hence, the reason I picked Blitzwolf. It's because I can use the arrow keys as it is and I still have the question mark or the slash. Though, the placing of this question mark key might be an issue for many out there and it was for me at first, but I got the hang of it as I use it longer. I think it will be more an issue for me if I didn't have a dedicated key for the question mark and the arrow keys. I know a lot of you are interested in how the typing sounds like, so let's listen to it here first. But I would just like to mention that most of the keys are okay for me. Loud, but not that annoyingly loud. What I just don't really like is the sound of the space bar that is kind of hollow because it's wider or longer than the other keys. I know there can be customizations that can possibly be done, but I don't know how to do it yet, so I will have to live with this for now. Besides, I heard from Wildcat that this sound of the spacebar happens to many keyboards, so anyway, 
Here are some typing sounds. Now, let's see how to use this keyboard. I use this at work on my Windows laptop and also with my iPad. And so far, it works well on both operating system. This can be connected with the wire, but obviously I can also connect this by Bluetooth. And I can connect this to five devices using the function plus the Q, W, E, R, T, as you see here with the B, T, and numbers one through five. Now here are some tips that may be useful for first timers like me when using the Blitzwolf BWKB1 keyboard. As I've shown earlier, function plus the backslash is to turn on the RGB lighting and to choose from different styles. Function in the square brackets is to decrease or increase the backlight brightness. And to turn off RGB, hit function and the left square bracket until the lights turn off. And then simply uh, press on function and the right square bracket to turn on again the lights. Next, pressing function and control will let me use the navigation keys like insert, home, and page up, page down, and also scroll lock, print screen, and pause break. So, in a Windows laptop, to do the Control Alt Delete to unlock the Windows laptop, you need to do Control Alt and then Function plus N because that is the delete key. Now, this happened to me many times when some letters don't type. For example, letter M is not typing, or let's say some of the numbers on the top row are not typing. And that is when I looked into this small user guide, uh, and then I figured out that I hit the function and control by mistake. And it says here in the manual, like hit function and control like three times, and you should be back to normal. Well, sometimes I hit function and control three times, it's still not working, so I just uh, do it again, and then it should, uh, all the keys should work as normal, back to the default settings. Now the software. This software will allow you to do customizations on the keyboard. I downloaded this on my Windows laptop and got the link of the driver from Blitzwolf's website. You can find it in their download drivers page by and then by simply searching for KB1 in the search box. I think for many YouTube videos I watched before, it seems like this wasn't available, but it seems Blitzwolf has uh, updated their website. So download the driver and once it's done, don't worry if it shows some Chinese characters or error message. Just keep watching. To make the software work, simply plug the keyboard to the laptop with the USB wire that came with the box. And if you continue to get the error, again, don't worry. What you need to do is to hit on the function plus the tab key to switch away or turn off from Bluetooth connection and just connect by the wire. Once you've done this, then the software should automatically display, but still close the Chinese error pop-up box so you can start using the Blitzwolf keyboard software. By default, the software is displayed in Chinese language. So to change it, click on that gear setting icon on the top right. And from here, you can change 
the language to English or other languages as well, like Japanese, French, German. There are several options that you could do on the software, like do customizations on the keys,、uh, change the RGB lighting, change some gaming mode settings, and also some macro settings. I don't really have many customizations. I only did two customizations that are important in my workflow, and those are the volume adjustment. So, once this is customized, when I use the keyboard on whether on the Windows laptop or on my iPad, it both works. So, I love this customization. I've yet to use the macro settings, so if you guys have some tips for me how to use it, leave it in the comments down below. So, hope you guys like this video and it helped you get more i d e a How the Blitzwolf BWKB1 looks like, and how the typing sounds like is with the Gateron red switches. So, I'll end this video with some more typing sounds. Enjoy listening and watching. And that's it. Thanks for watching.